Good morning again, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I made a video this morning. It is still August the 14th, 2019. It is a Wednesday morning. It is 1047 now. And the reason why I'm making this video is kind of like an experiment. I'm not even sure if I'm able to download this video. But recently, my wife and I have a new internet service. And since I, since we got into uh, this new internet service, I'm able to download my videos really fast. Like I, when I used to make a video in the old internet service, it would take sometimes 45 to an hour to download a video. This new internet service only takes five or six minutes. So what I did this morning, I set my camera to high definition movie. This is the highest definition. So I'm kind of curious how the videos look on this new camera setting and how long it will take to download this video. Use, when I used to download a high definition movie, it would take three hours uh, because it was such a high definition. And I'm not sure how much time I have on this time card when you make a high definition movie. So what I'm going to do is just show you my to be read pile or the books that I have been reading recently. I probably due to time will only show recent books, books that I've been reading recently. And I'll start right away because I know I don't know how long this video is going to last. I showed you this book, Letters, Summer 19, 1926 by Boris. These are letters between these three poets uh, in 1926. Uh, Boris Pustinov, Marina Tashevik Via, and Rainer Maria Rika. Uh, um, forgive me for the terrible pronunciation, but I've been reading that. Uh, this most recent books, and then I'm going to go to the ones that uh, I showed you the, the Another Roadside Attraction by Tom Robbins. I have been reading, and I, I almost finished with Guy de Mespont, his novel, The Strongest Death. I showed you I've been reading The Diary of H.L. Macon. And I was reading the novel 1984 by George Orwell. And I was reading The Ministry of Truth, the biography of George Orwell's 1984. So these are the ones I've really been recently reading. Also, I've been recently reading See What I See, Greg Greco. These are essays, literary essays. These are also essays. Am I Alone Here by Peter Oner, Notes on Living to Read, Reading to Live by Peter Oner. Now I read these too when I really get tired of reading literary fiction or something really heavy. I read these essays. I was reading this novel, Tomato Red by Daniel Warrell. This is, I have to get back into this. And I was reading Elias Canete. Auto defeat. I was reading this yesterday. I still plan to read it. And I've been reading Garriott's and Pretenders, A History of Bohemianism in America by Albert Perry. Now these are the things I recently been reading, but I don't know if I showed you this book I got in the mail a couple of weeks ago by Iceberg Slim, Night Train to Sugar Hill. I think I showed this. I haven't gotten into this at all. You, what I, you don't see an index card. I haven't really gotten into it. It's, it could really go down the lower level. I'm not sure if I ever get into it. I was reading a while back this memoir, Light Years, by Chris Rush. I still want to get back into this. That's why it's up here. I bought this biography by George Marshall, a defender of the Republic. I want to get into this. Uh, you have my index card. And I was reading uh, Kesber Takes Berlin by Gabriel Target. I want to get back into this. And I just got this Three Summers by Mar Margareta Le 
Labarkai, I can't pronounce it. And I got this, the big tent, the big green tent, a novel by this Russian writer. I haven't begun to start this. Uh, and I was, you know, so these are the kind of things, you know, I stopped reading this a while back. Uh, this is Loris by Eugene Volkasan, translated from the Russian by Lisa J. Hayden. And I was reading oh, a while back this memoir, Personal History by Catherine Graham. I was reading a while back the novel Ohio by Stephanie Stephen Barclay. And I was reading Stephen Barclay's memoir, published this book. And I was reading Joseph Atlas' memoir, Joseph Atlas, Joseph W. Asop, I've Seen the Best of It, a memoirs. And a long time ago, I was reading the, book, the Bookshop of the World, Making and Trading Books in the Dutch Golden Age by Andrew Pedigree. These things I haven't picked up in several months. But I haven't put them down the lower, lower level. I haven't really totally given up on them. But I don't know if I ever get back into them. I haven't even begun to start at this one, The Big Green Tent by La Mamia La Vechkaya, translated from the Russian by Polly Gannon. I haven't begun to start this one yet. I might just put it down in the lower level, The Three Summers. I really want to get back into the light years, this memoir by Chris Rush. I don't know if I'll ever get back into publish this book or Catherine Graham's memoirs. I really enjoyed reading this. Never got into Iceberg Slim, Night Train to Sugar Hill. I like to get into this George Marshall biography, Defend to the Republic by David R. Roll. I was reading The Brief History of a Portable Library by Agrig Vila Mastis. And I was reading this biography in the band Wilco, Learning How to Dive by Greg Cott. Tales of a Truffle Pig by Fernando Flores. I just got a couple pages left. You can see my bookmarker. Louis Ackenkloss, The Growth of a Novelist. I haven't really got into this yet by Vincent Pitt. And I really haven't gotten into The Fan Man, a novel by William Kitzwinkle. And I really want to get back into reading this. This was my favorite books of 2019. And I just really, I should really get back into this one. Abel and Cain by Gregory Van Reservoir. This I really want to get back into. So these are the things that I'm trying to read and I've kept on my to be red pile. It's just a ton of stuff. And I haven't shown you my Christian books, which I primarily read in the mornings and to the afternoons. But these are the kind of secular books I read when I'm not reading my Christian books or writing in my diary or messing with a computer looking at booktube videos or listening to music or watching birds or talking to my wife or being with our grandchildren and our children and visiting thrift stores or going to the grocery store. These are the kind of things I read that I keep here in the living room on the coffee table near my reading chair. So I don't know if this video is going to make it. I just want to experiment to see if I can make a high definition movie and see what it looks like. So once again, this is August the 14th, 2019. I'm on page 724 in my 2019 diary. It is a Wednesday late morning. The sun came out. It got warmer. And yeah, so until next time, bye.